check out. So we're really, really excited that you came to join us this year. Uh, next slide, please. I always like to talk about some fun stats. So let's talk about some milestones that uh, that Rec Room has hit. So we're amazed to announce that we have uh, reached the 100 million plus user uh, milestone. So that's 100 million people have come and played Rec Room. We're so grateful for that. Um, and those people have made over 800 million friends between them. Think about that. That's nearly a billion friendships created in Rec Room, which is so exciting to us. Um, those players have, have visited rooms more than 7 billion times, which is just a number that blows my mind. I cannot believe that. That's so exciting. So it's a whole world out there. You know, we, we couldn't be more excited to have you as part of the community and, and see this thing grow uh, year after year. And then a fun little one about uh, our most recent RRO and our friend Bonky here. Since we released uh, Make It to Midnight a couple of months ago, um, there's been more than 9 million survivors bonked by Bonky. So lots of people having fun in Make It to Midnight. Uh, if you haven't gone and checked out Make It to Midnight yet, I encourage you to do so. Super, super fun game. All right, next slide. Um, I wanted to talk a little bit about some of the really, really fun partnerships we've got going on and, and coming up soon. So the first one I'll talk about is AJR, the great band AJR, which I'm sure many of you are fans of. Uh, we've partnered up with them to celebrate the release of their new album, The Maybe Man. There's going to be a custom AJR, AJR room that you can visit with a really cool interactive experience in there, uh, some really cool AJR merch, so be sure to check that out. Also, Barbie, um, you'll remember we had some really, really cool Barbie items that came out with the movie. We've got another drop coming uh, from our Barbie partnership, so there'll be some extra cool new merch items coming that we're really excited to share. And last but not least, it's Rectober. So it's the spooky season, and we're really, really excited to have back uh, the Haunt Society Haunted House, the world's first VR haunted house that we debuted last year. We're super excited to bring that back for this Rectober. So be sure to go check that out. That's crazy. Um, and then we got plenty more in the pipeline. We got some really, really cool stuff coming down the pipe that we'll be t talking about in the coming weeks. So stay tuned to the socials. We'll have more to say soon. All right, next slide, please. All right, I wanted to give you all an update on full body avatars. So uh, many of you have been following along the blog. You've seen us post about this on the socials. I just wanted to give a little update about the status of this project. So we're working super hard on it. They are adorable. They're coming along really, really well. We're not quite ready to release them yet. We're trying to get them really, really perfect before we bring them out and, and start sharing them with you all. Um, but yeah, they look really, really cool. They've got a whole bunch of cool new options for how you can express yourself with your avatar. Um, and just one thing I wanted to kind of mention, since it's a question that comes up a lot, is you know what happened to the, what's going to happen to the be the classic bean avatars? We're keeping them. You'll always be able to have your bean avatar, and all of the new avatar items we make will be compatible with both the, the classic bean and with the full body avatars. So this is going to be super fun. Stay tuned to the socials. You'll see us talk more about this very soon. All right, next slide, please. I just wanted to do a little look back on Make It to Midnight, which is our most recent RRO, our most recent Rec Room original game that we've released. Um, as I, when I teased it at last year's RecCon, I said it was our first horror-themed Rec Room original. I think we delivered on that. Uh, <laughs> Bonky is one spooky clown. Um, so, you know, we've been really excited by the reception to Rec Room, uh, this Rec Room original. We've had more than 4 million room visits, people to come and play the game, which is great. Um, and as a reminder, this is a Rec Room original made with the in-game creation tools and with Rec Room Studio. So this is using the exact same creation tools that are available to you as a creator. You can build with all of the tools that we used to build something like Make It to Midnight, um, which is one of the big reasons we build these Rec Room original games is uh, to, to make sure we've got really cool new tools coming out. Uh, so there's a whole bunch of new creator tools that came out with Make It to Midnight. Uh, I'm going to invite Crash Faster uh, up to the stage soon to talk about. He's going to talk about all things creation. He's our head of UGC. He's going to give you the whole uh, top to tail on um, on creation. And then uh, once he's done with that, I'm going to come back and maybe we'll talk a little bit about the next RRO. But before uh, we bring up Crash Faster, let's check out a really cool video that's going to show you some of the really cool creations that have, that have been happening over the past year. So take it away. All right. Let's see this. Okay, what happened to him? Did he die? Did he die? No, he did not die. Fuck up. I'm trying to watch the fucking. Oh, okay, hold on. Sorry, quiet. Oh, 
out there how are you today Hello there. welcome to recon 2023 i'm crash faster the head of ugc here at rec room and i'm so excited to have a chance to talk to you about rec rooms creators so today i want to start off by sharing our vision for creation in rec room next please so first off i want to talk about the fact that in rec room Everything is made by people just like you. So that means the rooms you visit, the objects you use, the avatars, clothing and items you equip, the clubs, events, and classes you belong to and attend, everything. Second, everyone can create, and that means you. So beginners to professionals, generalists to specialists. You can also use the device you already have in front of you. So if that's a phone, a console, uh, okay. or you want to unleash professional workflows on your PC. And you're not alone. Playing together is better, and creating is no different. The best creations are collaborations with the team of creators with different backgrounds and skills. Third, great ideas can come from anywhere. UGC is the voice of our community, and the best ideas win. You decide what succeeds by voting hey, with your baby. time and tokens. Rec Room creators are also players, so they, all, they know best what players want. Last, with your help, Rec Room will become the best place in the world to create, share, and be rewarded. That means the largest number of players for creators to connect How you with, doing, baby? the largest percentage of people creating, the largest percentage of creators making a living, and already what we're seeing is that Rec Room creators are the entrepreneurs, developers, designers, and influencers of tomorrow. So, a question for all of you out there. What are you going to make? All right, let's talk about all of the progress we've made together. Next slide, please. 2023 has been a big year for creators. Over two million new rooms are created every month one out of every five players are using creator tools every day. And 80% of all time spent in Rec Room is in UGC rooms. These are incredible numbers. And it just goes to show you how much we've grown together. Next slide, please. So at last year's RecCon, we announced Rec Room Studio, which is built with Unity Editor and lets you harness the power of professional tools and workflows in just a short amount of time. Creators have made some incredible rooms that take visuals and gameplay to a whole new level. In just the past six months alone, nine of the top 25 rooms were made with Studio. The amount of time players spend in Studio rooms has more than doubled. And, like Gribbly said, Make It to Midnight was created with Studio. It's a great example of what's possible. Next slide, please. Let's talk about the economy. As I mentioned before, we want to make Rec Room the best place to create and be rewarded. And with your help, we are making great progress. So the UGC economy has grown over 500% in less than two years. That's amazing. And in the last year alone, creators have earned more than $3.9 million. Also, the number hey, of creators making over $30,000 a year has tripled. 
Let's talk about our Partner Creators Program. Next slide, please. Our Partner Creators Program lets creators exchange the tokens that they've earned for real money. And I'm pleased to announce that starting on January 1st, we're permanently increasing the exchange rate by 50%. So for every dollar earned on Rec Room, 40% goes to the creator, 30% goes to the platform, and 30% goes to Rec Room to cover costs for building tools, hosting rooms, running data centers, moderating the app, and more. And at the end of the day, this means creators are keeping more of what they earn, which is awesome. Next slide, please. So we know that creators are always looking for ways to bring their imagination to life as quickly as possible. And MakerPen now unlocks the power of your keyboard and mouse so that you can work even faster and more efficiently than ever before. So this new feature is used by our Rec Room original teams. And what we've seen is that time to create and manage objects is about 2.5 times faster. If you haven't already, give it a try and let us know what you think. Next slide. We recently released the Creator Hub on Rec.net, a one-stop shop for all things creator. You can find useful information about your room, like player engagement, and how well your rooms are performing on every platform. You can also find places to improve your skill and techniques, and opportunities to connect with other creators. I'm excited to announce two new features coming soon to the Creator Hub. As a part of the Room Rewards program, we're introducing Discovery Boosts, which gives you a new way to get featured in Rec Room, giving you a dedicated, visible placement in the Play menu. <clears throat> Reaching and engaging with your players is another important part of creators' success in Rec Room. So we'll be providing you with a number of new tools that help you connect with your audience. You'll be able to see who is visiting, who's subscribing to and sharing your content, as well as your top players ranked by time spent and token spend and more. Once you have that information, you might want to thank those players personally, or perhaps you just want to let your subscribers know that you've got a big update coming to your room. So we're introducing Creator Messages, oh, what's up, nigga? a way for our creators to send highly personalized messages Shut to promote up. their creations chat with players, and create communities. Step away from my baby girl. Next, please. Oh, somebody sent me a gift. Great. Uh, <laughs> thank you. And another gift. I'm not going to get that one. All right. So, <clears throat> who here has played Make It to Midnight? I love Bonky. You know, at Rec Room, our original games aren't just for players. Stay they away, help boy. us understand what new tools are needed I to just bigger and better rooms. Because of you. We build those tools and use them oh, for hell nah. And then we Oi. ship them to the community. Look away, look away. And Make It to Midnight give us some really cool new features, look away. like data tables, interaction volumes, progression, radio, rewards, motion trail, swing handle, and more. Okay, so this is my favorite part of the presentation, where we get to talk about what's next for creators. Next slide. Coming soon. At Rec Room, we're always listening to our creators, and we're working around the clock to get you the tools that you need to keep pushing those rooms to incredible new heights. So I am very excited to announce. Next slide. Rooms 2.0. This is the yeah! next big leap forward for Room Let's go, baby! We're introducing a suite of features that level up your creative potential while optimizing room performance. Rooms 2.0 includes new capabilities like improved compound objects in hierarchical building, improved CB2 performance, and we'll finally have a CB2 version of all your favorite CB1 chips. Higher limits, actually, in fact, we're removing ink limits. That's right, no more ink. Let's talk about one new feature that we think creators and players are going to dig. Next slide. Get green. Yeah. <laughs> sit, sit there, boy. We're introducing there. room inventory and offers. So we've taken keys, currencies, and consumables and consolidated them into a single system that's super flexible. Room inventory. Billy! Any item that Billy! you own in a room is called an inventory. Creators can define and control what they are and how and when they're used. Room offers lets you t sell room inventory items for tokens. Creators can sell one or multiple inventory items in an offer. And offers can be purchased once, multiple times, or even in bulk. We can't wait to see how you'll use this. And remember, we love feedback. We'll work together to make Rooms 
and all of these new features great. All right, this next one I'm super excited about. Next slide. Next year, UGC avatar items are coming. So a question to all of you out there, what do you want to see creators make? Next slide. We talked about all of the great new chips that come from Rec Room Originals. Well, guess what? There's a new Rec Room Original coming, and along with it, a lot of new chips. But that's all I'm allowed to say for now. So, it's okay, baby. You still slide. listen to me. 2023 has been an amazing year for our creator community. And together, we're going to make 2024 the biggest year yet. We can't wait to see what you'll create. Thanks for listening. And now, back to Gribbly. All right. Thank you, Crash Foster. Uh, Crash Foster, our head of UGC, really amazing to hear him talk about all of the cool stuff that's happening with UGC and our creation ecosystem and the wonderful stuff that our creators do. Uh, Crash Foster, the, the, the chat thinks that you're an AI, just as an FYI. <laughs> I promise you he's not an AI. Um, all right, so yeah, like, like Crash Foster said, we can't wait to see what you create. But uh, next slide, let's talk, about, uh, let's talk about a topic that I know everyone always has questions about. Every recon, this is always the number one question I get. Gribbly, oh, what's the next RRO really going to be? I Tell us about the next it. RRO. So I did what I always do. I, uh, I went to the RRO teams, you know, the teams that work on uh, these amazing games and the creation tools that build them. And I said to them, I was like, hey, I've got the Recon keynote coming up. What am I allowed to say about the next RRO uh, that we're making? And they said, oh, well, it's early days. We're only really just getting started. There's not really much we can say. Maybe we can just skip it for this Recon keynote. So unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to say anything more than that. Thanks, everyone, for coming. No, I'm just kidding. We're going to talk about it. Let's talk about the next RRO. Next slide, please. I'm excited to announce the next RRO is called My Little Monsters. Um, and this is the first role play RRO that we've ever built. Um, and in, in this RRO, you're going to raise these incredibly cute, adorable pet little monsters in the mysterious town of Cryptid Creek. And your job is to discover the mystery of their origin. It is an incredibly adorable experience. It's coming along so, so nicely. I can't wait to share it with you all. And I'm excited to say that we have a demo experience coming soon. So you'll be able to get hands on with these adorable little critters uh, very, very soon. So super excited to announce My Little Monsters. I think everyone's going to love it. And uh, equally exciting, this is our first uh, RRO built on the Rooms 2.0 Foundation. And it's going to introduce a whole lot of new uh, creator tools that you'll all be able to use. So very, very exciting stuff. All right, next slide. Let's wrap it up here. Um, I want to end by just talking a little bit about the event. So uh, Recon goes all weekend. This is just us kicking off today. Uh, there's plenty of events all through the weekend. Booths, panels, parties, meetups, more. Plenty to do. Uh, you can learn from your favorite Rec Room creators. You know, if you are an aspiring creator yourself, this is a great opportunity to learn more and, uh, and, and get some tips on, on how to level up your game. There's also some really cool Recon merch in the shop, and there's an opportunity to, uh, to, to get yourself a really fancy new Maker Pen skin that looks absolutely awesome. So I just want to wish everyone happy Recon. I hope everyone has a great event. We love you all. Thank you for being part of Rec Room, uh, and we'll see you at the event. All right. Bye, everybody. Thanks for coming. Yeah. And I'm out. Oh, they copied my monsters. Bad. Where do we go now? Well, they copied my monsters, guys. Let's let's shoot them. Let's shoot them. Let's shoot them. Lost, lost. Okay. Oh, that was a long one. That was a long one. Mm-hmm.